and welcome to the special edition of African Voices Platform. We are coming to you from the Bintumani Hotel in Freetown, Sierra Leone. As you can see, today over a thousand people were gathered in this building today to inaugurate the traditional chief of the western area from the Fulani community. There were so many delegates coming from Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea, Nigeria, and of course, Gambia. We spoke to so many people to get an insight of what has been happening. UK, yes, sir. It's a very big event. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's a coronation of chiefs and sub chiefs of the Pula community. Okay. As you can see, it's, a, it's the first time we are doing this in Sierra Leone. We are all manage and govern the Fula community. So you have the Fula chieftaincy, you have the council of tribal head, you have some, you have the Fula progressive union. So all of these institutions come together to form what we call the, the architecture of governance for the Fula community. So today is a coronation. They have been elected, they have been appointed, so today is a coronation. And I want to use the opportunity to thank the entire Fula community in Sierra Leone for their presence here. I want to thank the organizers. I want to particularly thank the Western Area Pula Tribal Head, who is also the chairman of the Council of Tribal Head, Alaji Sadio Jallo, for this wonderful organization. I'm very happy to be here. I sent a very strong statement. The statement about here, a comment to you understand, mm -hmm. is to show that the Pula we are together, that sense of solidarity is what we are going to combine to push the Pula community, to push development in Sierra Leone and to support the administration of His Excellency Dr. Julius Marabu. And as the Prime Minister of this country, or a Vice President, as you guys called it over the year, how proud are you to see yourself in a situation like this, seeing yourself among the Fulanis, and also seeing so many delegates coming from Nigeria, Gambia, Liberia, you name them. But I've already told you I'm very proud. I'm very proud because it shows solidarity. It shows oneness of purpose. It shows oneness of unity. So that for people to come and solidarize us, I'm very happy. More importantly, I am very happy because of the organizational uh, and planning capacity that have been put into this. We are talking about thousands and thousands of people. The people that are outside, they are more outweigh the people that we are inside the hall. So this is a very good organization, so I want to thank the organizers and I want to thank the entire Fula community to tell them that they will take a and Albarca. An expression. I don't know, a word is not a, there's not a word to express how grateful we are. Uh, today is a great day for Fulani as a whole, you know, and uh, for me particularly, and uh, because I'm the president of Tabita Pulaku, Liberia, I know we have been fighting to be united as Fulani, as tribe, and seeing this job that the Fulani of Sierra Leone, you know, have done, and to the level of cooperation with the government, that is the most amazing part, you know. You are doing tribal issues, but the government is fully involved to guide the people, you know, to encourage them to be more united. To be honest, it is fantastic. Mm. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you very much. So, so in terms of you as a representative of Liberia, being from Liberia as a Fulani, coming over here, seeing so many Fulanis as well from different parts of West Africa, Senegal, Guinea, the Gambia, was it something that you were expecting? For me, I, uh, I was expecting more than this. Uh, because to tell you the truth, uh, I have been discussing with some of the members of the planning committee, and then we having people from Nigeria, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, uh, Senegal. I think we, we are more. Uh, we, we can do more than this. Uh, to be honest, we are, we are all over Africa. And then if you count, you see we're only counting five or six countries. Why not 10 or 15? You know, white people not from Niger. White people not from South Sudan, you know? So we, we are all over Africa, all over the world. And but however, how be it, I think is, it is the beginning and, and, and we are all learning from it. And then we, we are praying that others may follow suit, 
you know, other countries uh, like Liberia, for example, where we are, uh, even though we know that there are some challenges, you know, with government issue and tribal issue. But how be it, for me, it is a wonderful thing. Yeah, uh, speaking of challenges, I had earlier one of your representatives from Liberia, if I'm not mistaken, um, one of your delegates who said what he saw here is he is very, very proud and what he has seen here, he has not seen it in so many countries. So in terms of Liberia in general, how will you describe Liberia right now in terms of unity among the Fulanis and, and what do you aspire? What have you learned from Sierra Leone? What we have learned from Sierra Leone so far is that unity and forgiveness is the hallmark. You know, when people are together and when, when, when people from all type of different aspects of ages, you know, different generations, you know, coming together, you need two things. One, understanding. Two, forgiveness. You know, because if you are not understanding each other, we are not forgiving each other, it's very difficult for us to communicate properly. And I think what we are taking from, uh, from here to Liberia is that to encourage everyone to be united. You know, you know we have this type of, uh, how, how to put it, uh, division or segregation among us. I think it is very important that we avoid that. This Timbo Timbi Labe issue, these are things that we should not be able to, we should not discuss now. Our forefather then did that to fight the jihad war against the unbelievers. And they did it to be to, for them for be for them to be able to more united. But today, some of our people are using that to divide us. I think we we can learn from Sierra Leone that Fulani Pulaku are one. Pulaku are one. Once we stand together, we become more stronger. And and, and lastly, for me, what would be your message to anyone who will be watching your interview globally, especially to any Fulani? you know, be it in Liberia, Sierra Leone, or any part of the world? Unity. That's my message. Let's be united. Let's be united. Let's be united. That's my message. I'm highly, I'm highly, highly honored to be invited here under the Lamido Adamawa, under the invitation they extended to Lamido Adamawa. We are here under his invitation and to extension of all Fula community in Nigeria. We are highly honored to be here, and what motivates me uh, the story I'm hearing about how the cordial relationship uh, between Fula community in Sierra Leone and the other ethnic group and the other ethnic group, and the, the performance of the cultural the chieftains that are working with the government, the FPU Fula Progressive Union. The way they are coordinating themselves, the way they are working, it was highly impressive. Where well, we think every country or every flag group uh, should follow those footsteps. If you can see the history of this country from the civil war, after civil war reconstruction, the way the Fula community were able to raise and unite themselves. So it is something people should be, should be, should be proud of, every fly in the world. Um, speaking of unity, we all know that um, Sierra Leone, of course, had difficulties, as you mentioned, uh, during the war. But also, coming from Nigeria, Nigeria does have its own challenges. What do you think you've learned from Sierra Leone that you can take to Nigeria? Uh, for, yeah, I think the key things, uh, where the two areas where we will learn mostly is how the traditional institutions will work with the government and how other progressive groups like Fula, Progressive Union, can work together with the traditional and also can be a platform for pushing for the right of Fula. Uh, Fula in Nigeria are one of the largest tribe in Nigeria. They are usually about 30, about 30 to 40 million. Uh, but because we don't have a structure or a platform where all the Fulas are united. So what we saw here in New Guinea, I think in Nigeria we are going to copy it to help our people, uh, especially the Fula in rural areas, the nomads. I think that uh, area where the traditional institution, the government working hand in hand with the government and working hand with some progressive 
union is key in, prog in, in achieving the desired result. Mm. And in terms of what you've seen here, do you think there is a platform here for the sub-region, for Fullers to come together as one? As you've mentioned, the Fullers are the, one of the largest ethnic groups in Nigeria, and likewise in Guinea, and in many parts of West Africa. Uh, as I can tell you, I'm uh, part of uh, Tabitha Pulaku International. I'm the executive Tabitha Pulaku in Nigeria. Uh, we, you know, every association, every group has its own up and down. Uh, we are seeing what we are always advising. Let us be the platform for you bringing unity in the country. We know there are some issues sometimes. The Tabitha Pulaku group in some chapters are creating some factions or some division. We are discouraging that. We are encouraging uh, the Tabitha Pulaku should be the platform for creating unity, should create progress, to bring uh, progress, to bring uh, development, to sustain the cultural of fuller people. Uh, I think uh, the key uh, platform we can promote is uh, Tabitha Pulaku International. And also, if there's any other platform that can come up to improve the life of Fula, to bring unity and keep their culture, it's welcome. And lastly, from me, we've seen here the Vice President of Sierra Leone here today, who is a Fulani. And um, we do know that Nigeria as well, if I'm not too sure, but uh, I think the current President of Nigeria uh, probably is a Fulani as well. How do you think uh, sometime with the Fulanis in general uh, to bring these leaders together so that um, it can be stronger for the, for the, for the for not only for the countries but also for the, for the tribe. Uh, yeah, uh, the Vice President, I saw him, uh, the Vice President is doing a good job and we are proud of him uh, in terms of his performance, in terms of uh, the achievement so far he has achieved after elected as uh, the vice president of this country. I think they can work together with the president in terms of understanding the culture, cultural challenges of Fula and also how uh, Fula can work with other tribes. In Nigeria, the president of Nigeria, of course, is a Fula. But a lot of times, sometimes, if uh, there is a lot of other factors, especially being uh, the culture, the culture uh, in terms of catering, uh, uh, facing desertification movements. So I think they can put their head together with the Celerion uh, vice president and Nigeria to work together. You know, Nigeria has sacrificed a lot in Sierra Leone. So I think uh, I've been the FLA president and uh, the vice president, uh, uh, FLA president from Nigeria and the vice president from Sierra Leone. They can work together, understand each other, and also the vice president can also guide our president in terms of what we are seeing in Sierra Leone, the unity, how the FLA united, how they un live peacefully with other tribes in Sierra Leone. I think we have a lot, they have a lot of role to work together. We will try and encourage them to meet, being in the Nigerian community of Fula, we will try and encourage them to work to host, we are ready to host the Vice President in Nigeria. It is a great day, it is a great occasion and a very historic one where you have over 1,000 Sierra Leoneans, more especially Fullers, that have come to witness this great ceremony. I record state that in 1987, a similar one was held at the Shaka Stevens Stadium. But this one is unique in the sense we will have delegates from the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the representative, of his uh, loyal and uh, the Barkinado of the Adamawa state. You have people from uh, the Gambia, people from Senegal, Guinea, Liberia, I can say all over the Sahel region. In terms of this, how proud are you to see so many people coming from the West African sub region to be here to the Accessoral Union? Well, this is a force to be reckoned with, and uh, the Fuller people are very, very industrial. So I am proud to be a Fuller. I am proud to meet my brothers from Nigeria, from the Gambia, from the Senegal. That shows solidarity, it shows unity, 
it shows how formidable we are as a tribe in West Africa. I think all the tribes should eliminate, uh, to emulate that as well. So today is a proud day for fullers across the region. And, and speaking of solidarity, most of the people that attended today's event were talking of them being very, very happy and that they have learned from Sierra Leone, despite Sierra Leone being one of the smallest countries in West Africa, especially countries, people that came from Nigeria, Guinea, Senegal. They, they were very excited to be here and they were very proud of you guys. Uh, indeed, you know, history shows that Sierra Leone is the anthem of West Africa. The first university in West Africa was established in Sierra Leone Fruvi College. So we have abundance of knowledge. The size doesn't matter. It is the ideas and uh, the people of Nigeria and other countries do admire us because of our unity. And in fact, the representative of the Emirate of Adamawa said they will copy from Sierra Leone and they will take it to their country and uh, they will watch at our constitution, they will watch at uh, the unity of the fullers in Sierra Leone. By so doing, they will emulate these good examples which they will import to their various countries. Yes, indeed, we are a small nation with a, a mighty knowledge. You know, there is one adage that says, although the elephant is large in size, but the antelope is greater. So we are greater in terms of knowledge. We are greater in terms of ideas. And lastly from me, despite the fact that we are united or we've seen so many Fulanis here today from Sierra Leone, but we cannot hide the fact that we still need to be united. As Sierra Leoneans, we know that there are some challenges that we do face. So what's your message to the other Fulanis or to, to, to Sierra Leoneans in general? Well, to the other Fulanis, we are one and the same. To our counterparts, our comrades in Sierra Leone, we are part of society because Sierra Leone we have 16 ethnic groups and Fulas belongs to those ethnic groups. And you cannot talk of and, uh, unity in Sierra Leone or you cannot, the, the history of Sierra Leone will be incomplete without mentioning Fulas as a tribe. So my message is simple and clear. Let us all unite as Sierra Leoneans to build this nation. We have only one Sierra Leone and we should maintain that country Sierra Leone and we should promote Sierra Leone and we should have that nationalism and patriotism in us. Sierra Leone should be first nothing but Sierra Leone and nationalism and patriotism should be our trump card. Well, uh, it, not, it was a surprise. Um, it's not something that I can very expect because it's, it's, it's very historical. This is my first time to see, you know, Fulani for all of life come together in this kind of atmosphere. You know, uh, that shows that the Fulani in the world are ready to unite and to come together as one because uh, look at the strength, look at the population. We are the highest, we are the biggest in the continent. You don't go anywhere in the world, you don't find Fulani. So uh, it was a real surprise, but equally it was not a surprise as well. Because we know what the people, what the Fulani in Sierra Leone can do. They tell me they are very good in history making. Mm. Um, speaking of that, as someone who came from Liberia, how will you describe uh, the, 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 the Fulanis right now in Liberia in terms of unity? As we all know, back in the days in Liberia, it used to be very difficult for Fulanis over there. Oh yes, thank you very much. Um, let me take this time to, to appreciate the National Fuller Governor of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency Mohamed Baila Supaso. Uh, since the ascendancy as governor, Samuel, there have been a lot of changes that have been happening of recent, uh, that have been demonstrated. Um, the Liberia decided to celebrate in the return of the slave to Africa through Liberia, 200 year celebration. His Excellency, the President, Dr. George Manuel Weir, 
decided to invite the Fulani to, to take part and participate in that, cele in that celebration. So I mean, we demonstrated, you know, an equality and the heritage, the heritage of our culture and tradition of the Fulani. So I mean, can you imagine? We took half of the field that day. He was very, very excited. Uh, as president of the Fuller Business Association, Association, I instructed all businesses to be closed down to declare that day as national holiday because it was an opportunity that was given to us as Fulani in Liberia. So we've been over there for more than 200 years, but we are not being recognized yet as citizens of that country. But we are talking to the government to see how best we can be recognized. I will believe the government of Liberia will soon and very soon, through His Excellency Dr. Joyce Manawia, will recognize the Fulani as citizens of that country. Will you say as a Fulani, that's one of your uh, most challenges that you are facing right now, being recognized as Liberians, um, the fact that you've been there, as you stated, for over 200 years, but up to now, uh, Fulanis are not recognized as first-class citizens, but sometimes as second-class citizens, or not even citizens. That's a major challenge that we're facing in that country, Liberia. Uh, we are not even classified to be a second-class citizen. We are not even recognized as citizens in that country. But uh, according to the constitution of Liberia, a Negro descent so we can be a citizen of that country through a naturalization. And some of us, we are naturalized born. We have naturalized citizens. So we, through the constitution, we are citizens. But we are not part of the, the 16 tribes, you know, so to call, according to the constitution of Liberia. So we are out of the, the tribes that make Liberia, that make Liberia to be Liberian. Mm. Yeah, we are not part of that tribe. Okay. So, so, so what do you think you've learned from Sierra Leone today that you can take back to Liberia that you think that might help you in the future? We learn a lot. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. I'm impressed by what I saw here today. Uh, the unity, the solidarity, the hospitality, and you know, the tranquility that I saw in Sierra Leone is very overwhelming. Um, I'm, I'm very glad, most especially for the host, the, the, the head of the chief, you know, uh, Al Mami, Chief uh, Al Haji Mohammed uh, uh, Jalo, for his, for his invitation extended, you know, uh, to us as Liberian Fula, Sami, and uh, other, you know, other Fulani around the world, Sami, we'd like to, you know, to thank him very much. We learn a lot from here. And not only we as Liberian Fula learn from here, but other Fulas that came alongside with us, like from Nigeria, the Guinea, the Gambia, the Senegal, the same, you join them, the rest of them. The same, they learn a lot from here today. The same, it was very excited, it was very historical, the same, it, was, it was very good, the same, it was 100% uh, perfect. So, I mean, I'm very grateful to be here as well. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's very history making for me uh, at this particular time. And uh, I never saw what I saw here today. So, I mean, it's, it very impressed me a lot. So we learn from this as a leader, you know, of the Fula community in, in Liberia. So, I mean, we will take note already. Um, we will try to see our best. You know, we, we, we will photocopy what is what we saw here today to carry back to Liberia so we can to practice those things so we can put it to, in reality. Safe from today's event, as you can see, people are now leaving the Big Tumani Hotel here in Freetown. Earlier today, as we mentioned at the beginning, there were thousands of people across the region who were gathered here for the inauguration of the traditional Fuller Chief of the Western area. Al Haji Sajo Jalo. So many delegates from Liberia, Guinea, of course, Nigeria, the Gambia, and other parts of the sub region. Until next week, that was me, Pilot Jalo, and thank you for watching.